likes that thing. And Stormy. Oh. Stormy, be nice. You have to share. Hi guys, welcome to the video. Um, today I'm getting something really cool in the mail. Um, my brother's gonna have to take care of that while I'm at school. So you'll see a video from him opening the box and like dealing with the fish. But, um, so that's really dope. Um, big thank you to Algae Barn for sending us this fish. It's, it's so cute. Um, anyways, um, let's get into the video. I really don't want to spill the fish. No, you won't. Just put, make sure the bag is all the way around the chart. The thing is, the water level is pretty low in here. That's fine. Just it, like, let me show move you. Move it over towards the corner. I know, but let me show you. It, I don't know if there's enough space for it in here. See how low that water is? He's fine, he wasn't like that before. Okay. So just seal it and float it? You don't even, you don't even have to seal it really, just like float it and let the tank. So I'm filming in for P. Will here as I put the fish in the tank. Just float it. Make sure to watch if this other fish is being aggressive. It's trying to swim out of the bag, I kind of feel bad. Just, it's fine. Well, it's definitely floating in there. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, it looks happy. I think it likes that tank. And Stormy's just kind of staying away. Guys, so I'm leaving school early today because I'm literally doing nothing. So I'm going home and taking care of this fish that I just got. So we got our fish. So cool. I'm so excited to see this fish. Um. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, y'all. It's so freaking cute. It's much smaller than I thought it was going to be. I love it. So before we can get this fish in the tank, we have to do a water change because the water is awful. I just realized, I think that tubing was for water changes. Yeah, it was. And now it's silicone to a piece of the pond thing. Great, thanks. Let's go check it out and see if it's dry. No. What would you do if you sucked up Stormy? I would get her out real quick. <laughs> oh gosh, I almost did. <laughs> Perhaps we should move this away from the power cord just in case the Marley hits me. That's but a good point. Basically, we're get out! You want me to pour this in your water bowl? See how you <laughs> like it? That's just social experiment. Alright guys, so right here we have our fishing in this little ziplock. Uh, I don't know how you can tell male and female from an angelfish, but we'll figure it out. Um, I can already tell that I'm going to get some hate from this because of how small this tank is, which like I totally understand to be honest. It is small for this kind of fish, but I do intend on putting them in something bigger, so this is just temporary. In its current state, it's, it's current a state, great spot. It's fine. He's it in something smaller to begin with, so... Yeah, depending on how good he is with like coral nipping and stuff, I might move him to my other tank, my 12, 14 gallon. And if we do end up getting a bigger tank for Christmas, that's what he'll be. But we're just going to have to keep him in here for now, so I'll figure out what to do with him after Christmas. He might end up living his life out at school and then I'll buy him back later. But I have a plan, this guy is not going to be contained in here for very long. Clownfish has shown no aggression so far, so that's also a good thing. 
This guy's from Algae Barn. He is a captive bred, captive algae raised. Barn. Yeah, Algae Barn. They're a cool company that sells macro algae. Oh. I think this guy came from a biota farm in Palau, which is super dope because they do all captive raised, but in Palau, so they have plenty of room to reproduce on their own. Whereas in captivity, it would be very hard to do. So, buy aquaculture, guys. Help sustain the reefs. That's the one problem I have with this hobby right now is just all the livestock that comes from the ocean and we're having so many problems right now with keeping the coral reefs alive. So, if you can, buy aquaculture, which is what this guy is. He looks ready to get out. So freaking cool. But yeah, if y'all haven't already, check out Algae Barn. This is where we got this little guy from. Um, they have all kinds of other captive rays and bread and animals such as mandarins, which I know <laughs> plenty of people will be interested in. So the captive rays, the thing with the captive rays mandarins is that hopefully these guys will eat other things besides pods, like frozen foods and flake foods. Because that is a struggle with keeping those fish in captivity is that they don't eat typical aquarium food. So I will definitely be checking that out because that is definitely a fish I'd want to get. But most of their fish come really small in size, so that's pretty nice. Um, something you'll never see, honestly, at any other fish store because they're wild caught. And there's so many rules. I don't think you can take fish this small from the ocean. So that's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool dude. He's so bright and colorful. When the lights come on, it'll be even cooler. So far, actually, I disagree. Um, these tanks are, these two tanks are cool in different ways. This tank is cool in the way that it's like so pretty. Look at all this coral. It's amazing. But then this, this tank is cool in its own way because it has some pretty cool fish in there. These fish are cool, but they're kind of like basic Nemos, which I still love them, but like, yeah. <laughs> and then this, you have a colorful angelfish, a rare clownfish, and a bright red fire shrimp who's hiding right now. He's and anyways, what I was going to say is, I think this tank's great. It's got very colorful, very nice fish in contrast to a very minimalistic environment. So you get that great, great color contrast that will look beautiful in a small tank only problem I have with this tank right now is the algae issue. We have a bunch of algae. Um, I want to say it's bad algae because the algae I've had in this tank was far more of a struggle than what we have in this one right here. But that's to be expected with small tanks and beginning tanks. I mean, you're going to have algae. It's just what you do to get rid of it. Is that really matters? So pretty. These fish get from... He's starting, they say he's at two inches right now. He doesn't really look like two inches, he looks smaller than that. Um, these guys are omnivores, meaning they'll eat both algae and shrimp, like meaty food as well. So they pick on algae and stuff and will eat that. But the thing you do have to be careful with these fish is that they are a little bit nippy with the corals. I've heard they do like to nip on LPS corals a lot. So that is something you have to watch for, but this is a captive raised, so we're going to have to see what happens with him or not, so we'll just see. I'm about to release him quite soon. Alright guys, so we're letting out our new little friend! I'm so excited. Guys, you should use nets for this, but like, I don't have a net, so. I mean, little bunny. He's probably still stunned from packaging. Oh. I really don't. I don't want to be blinded. <gasps> Stormy, be nice. You have to share. Sharing is caring. What if we got the fight on video so we They're could like broadcast play. it for pay per view? Look at Oh, they want to be best friends. Two seconds later, they start killing each other. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Alright guys, just so you know, um, <laughs> I do not recommend adding new fish when you've had a clown fish in here for so long, but honestly, I felt like it was fine because this Stormy's not very smart, honestly. <laughs> if we're being honest here, Stormy is not smart, okay? She's kind of dumb, 
So she's not going to get too territorial. She hasn't bit me. I haven't even had my hands in here that much, and she doesn't attack me. Like, she tries jumping in my hands. Like, I'm not joking. Oh my gosh, you're so freaking cute! 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 I'm sorry for stability viewers, but I can't get back there. <laughs> I'm sure I forgot. Already forgotten is back to hosting the powerhead. Wow. Wow. I just turned the camera off and y'all should have just seen what Gregor did to this fish. Gregor came out and attacked the fish. I tried grabbing it. I don't know if he was just trying to clean it or it was like he's reaching for her. Maybe a bad little shrimp. I don't know what he's doing, honestly. The little fish is scared out of its mind, and then we have a little cleaner shrimp who's being a little jerk. And we have a clownfish who is a little too nosy. Stormy. Are you being cute, Stormy? Oh, are you being cute, Stormy? Watch out, I get the better camera trying to shoot stuff. Okay, Stormy's so freaking cute. I don't have her in enough videos, and my tank is never clean. But just look at how dang cute that fish is, okay? Like, you can't tell me that that fish is not cute. Oh, the fish is out. They're all happy and wanting to eat. Like, y'all, I'm actually quite surprised that this fish wants to eat. Look how amazing he's out. Okay, let's take some little shrimpies. Put them in here. Get everyone going crazy. Look at them. They're so freaking cute. Look at these guys. They're little vultures. He smells it. He's like, mmm. I'm just more interested in Gregor. Hey, stop calling Gregor. <laughs> There's some big ones for the big boys over here. Gregor, go get it. Gregor, go. Fish. Look at how cute I don't it see looks. the other fit. Oh. Yes. Well, you have a better angle. No, I don't. Yes, actually. you do. I can only see Gregor and Stormy from here. Everyone's feasting and is all happy. The Sirius are out. Gregor got a big chunk. And the Coral Beauty is out, kind of. I think he's just checking it out and knows there's food. Kind of hungry, just not really. Which, like, you can't expect a fish to eat when you first get him. Especially when he came in a little bag. He's so cute. I'm glad he's coming out now. So pretty. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful fish. Those bright colors. Those colors are amazing. He's such a little fish too. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, link in the description below. And I also have a Patreon account, so if y'all want to hit that up too, that'd be great. Right, thanks for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked my fish. Um, and I will see y'all in that next video.